In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front grille in your Jeep Wrangler located right in the front of your vehicle. Now inside the passenger side fender well right here, we want to go ahead and remove bolts securing the grille to our fender area. Now normally you're going to have three bolts here. One, two, three. Ours only has two here. It's 13 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and loosen and remove those bolts. Once you get your three bolts removed, we're gonna to move to the forward side and there's three more bolts on this side. Normally you're gonna have three more bolts over here. There'll be one here, one here, and one up top here. These two are missing, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove this here. These are also 13 millimeter. Once you remove these six bolts over here, Go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. On the front side, right behind your bumper, there's gonna be this cover here, covers a sway bar, and there are two 3 8 bolts on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and remove these here and then repeat for the passenger side. With those bolts out, go ahead and lift that cover up and off. Now in the very center of the grill underneath here, you're gonna find a single 16 millimeter body bolt that goes up into the grill. Loosen and remove that. Use a 13 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the bolts securing the grill to cowl strut rods. Remove that and your bolts. Now our particular vehicle does not have air conditioning, so we're gonna go ahead and skip removing this. If you do have it, you wanna go ahead and disconnect the lines down below to the AC condenser after you've had the system professionally evacuated. Remove your radiator expansion tank here. We're gonna start by using some pliers. I'm going to pull back on the clamp here. Go ahead and twist that off the radiator. Be gentle removing that. You don't want to crack the, the port on the radiator. Now chances are your expansion tank will have coolant in it, or at least it should. You want to be careful when pulling this up and out. Now we're just going to bump it upward. There are little tabs right here. There's one on the top one on the bottom, and then there's a little nub in the middle that kind of helps it lock into place. So we just give this a quick little jolt upward. Here's the unit. There are the two tabs that line it up, and there's a little nub that locks it into place. Go ahead and set this aside somewhere that it won't spill out. Now on the back side of the grill, we have our radiator and our fan shroud assembly. There are gonna be six 3 8 bolts securing the radiator to the grill. It's gonna be three on the driver's side, three on the passenger side. And they're right here, there's one down below, and then one further down. You can use your ratchet for a little bit, or you can switch over to a gear wrench. It's gonna give you a little more clearance. Just 
gonna continue that process all the way down. And we're gonna switch over to a gear wrench here for clearance purposes. Now on the very bottom right here, we're gonna go ahead, loosen and remove this bolt here. Now we're removing this lower bolt. We used the 3-8 socket, a swivel and a small extension, and we we're able to get to that lower bolt. We're gonna repeat that process, removing the three bolts on the passenger side. Now the lower bolt on the passenger side is gonna be more accessible from underneath the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get underneath it. I'm gonna use a small pry bar. And the reason for this is that the lower bolt here, you can get better access to it through the radiator. There's a hole in the radiator frame there. So what we wanna do is just use our pry bar and we wanna pop out the lower portion of the shroud itself. Now we're using a small quarter inch extension here with the 3.8 socket on it. And what we can do is come up top, we can pull that shroud out a little bit. We're gonna feed the extension and the socket in to that bolt. Use our quarter inch ratchet to go ahead and loosen that the rest of the way. Now the lower bolt, we loosened it, but we didn't have to remove it. The reason is, is that the radiator will lift up and out. It's a slotted bracket on the radiator itself. So we wanna just push that up and just push that radiator back a little bit. Let's move back up top. Now I wanna go ahead and relocate the hood prop rod here. Pull it up and out and you can reposition it somewhere down below. The other option is, is you can go simply go ahead and fold the hood back up towards the windshield. In our case here, we're gonna go ahead and just simply fold the hood back. On the back side of your headlights, you're gonna find the electrical connector here. It's a simple three prong connector. Just wiggle that, separate that. Repeat that for the driver's side. Now at this point, we want to gently lift this up. There might be a sensor or a harness on the backside. So you want to be careful of that there. Okay, lift this up and just bring it forward just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look on the backside for any of those sensors. On the driver's side, we do have a ground wire attached to the grill. Use your 3 8 socket. Remove the trim bezel around your headlight. There are three T15 Torx bit screws, one here, here, and here. Now we chose to do this now instead of prior because we're able to pull the grill up and make it a little bit easier to work on. You can do this job at the very beginning if you want. Once you get those three screws out, remove the trim bezel. Repeat for the passenger side. Go ahead and remove the ground strap on the passenger side as well. Now I wanna go ahead and remove the entire headlamp assembly. It's gonna be three eight millimeter nuts here. Now as you're removing this here, you wanna go ahead and support the light assembly on the front side. You don't want that glass headlight to fall out.
Now, in some cases, the stud itself will unscrew from the headlight bracket on the inside. This is totally fine. Across the top, you have this little splash shield here. You use your trim tool, get underneath the buttons, go ahead and pop those out. Go ahead and remove this. Now underneath that flap that we just removed, you're gonna see a little plastic Christmas tree here. There's one here and there's one over here on the left-hand side. And what these do is they hold the lighting wiring harness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap this here and pull that harness down from underneath. Pop that out, do the same over here. Sometimes you can put your trim tool up inside, pop that. Now on the passenger side here, where our headlight harness was and that ground wire that we just removed, there's gonna be a harness connector. I wanna go ahead and press down on this little spring clip here, separate this. Our next step is we need to feed this wire harness into the grill shell and all the way across and out the driver's side. Now the harness itself still has a couple more of these plastic Christmas trees or retainers. Use your trim tool. You're just gonna go up inside the hole here and you wanna pry that retainer off. There's gonna be a couple more of those as we go. So we'll go ahead and feed the harness in. There's another one of those little retainers in the top center here. And on the driver's side here, we have another retainer. Pop that out. Go ahead and rest that harness aside. With that harness out, if you look down on the bottom side, your vehicle may have this. It's an additional splash shield here and it's held in a place with a couple plastic Christmas tree retainers. Use your trim tool, pop those out, one on each side. Go ahead and grab that grill and lift it up. Now that you have the old grill out, now you wanna go ahead and swap over the two air deflectors from the driver and passenger side, as well as the brace here. Go ahead and install that onto the new grill, and then we'll go ahead and install it. On the lower bolt area on the driver's side, we're going to install one of the bolts here. The bottom side of the radiator is slotted on both the driver and passenger side. So by putting these bolts in on the driver and passenger side, when we put the grill in, we can drop the radiator down inside these bolts 
and it'll support the radiator while we install the other four bolts. When you're installing the new grill, it's always a good choice to go ahead and grab some tape and protect your fender upon installation. We're gonna put this on both sides of the fenders to protect the paint. Install the splash guard on the bottom side. And to feed the harness through this outer hole here. I'm going to tip the grill back. I'm going to feed the harness up above the air diffuser or air deflector for the radiator. Now on the harness itself, you're gonna find these little Christmas tree buttons. You wanna push those up through. That'll secure the harness up in place. You're gonna continue this through. And once you get to the other side, we're gonna feed the harness through the air diffuser on the passenger side here and into that headlight bucket area. I'm gonna pull this out. Don't forget to install the other retainer right here. Push that up and in. That'll hold that harness up on the top side. Now we install our driver set of headlight. Our particular screws just screwed out of the back side here. So we're gonna line this up. Make sure that the writing is at the top of your bulb so you know that this is positioned properly. We're gonna line that up and on the back side, we're gonna start to get the screws lined up and threaded into the back of the headlamp housing. Now you can look right down behind the headlamp over here. You can get the lower bolt or screw started into the housing. Reach inside, line up the housing for the other two. Once you have them threaded in a couple threads, go ahead and snug those down. Now you just wanna make those snug, don't over tighten them. Install your harness tree into the hole behind the headlight. Once that's pushed through, we'll go ahead and tighten down our headlamp. Once those are all snug, Install your ground wire with the screw. Once you've completed this assembly here, go ahead and repeat the same for the passenger side. If the ground wire is stuck to that screw there, you want to go ahead and separate that here. Just use a little pick or something. Go ahead and install that ground. And we'll snug that down. Now we have the main headlight harness right here. It's safe to go ahead and reconnect this. Press that in, you're gonna feel it in here and snap together. 
We're going to hold off on installing the headlight harness for now on both sides, but we can now go ahead and bring that grill back up against the radiator. Now with the grill set up into place, what we want to do is we want to stabilize the grill before we set the radiator. We're going to do this by starting by installing the lower center body bolt here. It might require you to shuffle that grill around a little bit. Now we're not going to tighten this down. We basically want to just keep this to stabilize once again, stabilize the grill. We're gonna get our fender to grill bolts installed next. Now we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna manipulate that grill and the fender to get one of these bolts lined up. I'm going to continue this process for the lower bolt and then install the three on the front. And we're not going to tighten these down. We just want to cut these caught a few threads. You want to get install your three bolts here. And once you have that started, go ahead and repeat the same process for the other two here. Now we can go ahead and bring these bolts down a bit. Once again, not tightening them. You want to make sure that, you, that your washers are spinning freely. That's gonna allow us a little bit of leeway to adjust the other side and get those bolts in. We wanna come back and get those tightened down. Install your bolt on the front side of the fender. Once you get all these started, go ahead and we can snug them all down. Tighten down your inboard bolts. Let's go ahead and tighten down our forward bolts. Go ahead and repeat for the other two. Let's snug down our center bolt. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push our radiator up and onto that bolt. There's one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side of that grill. and drop it down on top of that bolt like so. Let's go ahead and get that on the driver's side. Install the two screws, securing the radiator to the back side of the grill. And go ahead and raise that radiator a little bit while you get that upper screw started. Reach down, get that middle screw started. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Now that we have those all started, we can now tighten those down. Once we have these two upper ones snug, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the ones on the driver's side. Once those two upper ones are done, we'll then go ahead and tighten down the two lowers. Let's go ahead and get the passenger side lower bolt. Now from underneath, that extension is going through a little slot in the radiator or the fan shroud itself. We did pull the plastic pin to help pull that away. Now we're gonna take our Christmas tree or a little plastic retainer, install that into the shroud and into the radiator. Now from up top, once you get that Christmas tree button started, you can go ahead and push that in from up top here. It's a little bit easier, Let's get some leverage. Now our lower one had a plastic push pin. On the top here, you can see that there's a nut and bolt. If yours has a nut and bolt on the bottom, just install the nut and bolt on the bottom.
Now, if your vehicle is equipped with air conditioning, go ahead and reinstall the AC lines to the condenser. You wanna go ahead and take your headlight harness, line that up, press that on. Let's go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Take your expansion tank, lower that down. You're gonna line up these little nubs here on the shroud. Pop that down inside. Install the hose on the radiator. You're gonna use a pair of pliers on that and bring that clamp up into place. Install our splash shield here. Install the headlight trim bezel. They only fit in one way. Once you get that lined up, go ahead and start to install your screws. Once you have these three screws snug, go ahead and repeat that process for the driver's side. With our grill finally anchored completely in place, it's safe to go ahead and remove your protective tape. Install our radiator strut braces. Now I'm just gonna get the bolts started on both driver and passenger side, then I'm gonna come back and tighten them both down together. Tighten down our firewall side first. And then our grill side. Install our front sway bar cowl cover here. Gonna get the bolt starter on the other side. Now that we have all four installed, let's go ahead and tighten those down. Now we just wanna gently snug those down. This is plastic, you don't wanna over tighten it and split it. So once that bottoms out, just a hair bit more. Let's repeat for the driver's side. Go ahead and bring the hood forward. Use your prop rod location. If you're not gonna be servicing the vehicle anymore, you can go ahead and close the hood, latch it up. Once that's done, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.